We've worked hard of how regular people, small business, micro businesses, solopreneurs can use artificial intelligence today while that window opens. Anyone remember years ago when Facebook was kind of free and if you posted something, people would see it, right? And now it's a pay to play. We're in that time period with AI. This is the time to jump in and learn. One of our quotes is, it's not that AI will take our jobs, it's the person who knows it that also has our skills that will take our job. And that's, we're in the middle of a real industrial revolution. If you know anything about history, it generally wasn't comfortable for the people during the process, okay? You know, when the printing press was stirred, there were a lot of people who wrote by hand worried about losing their jobs. So we must keep learning and adapting. But I'm also an advocate of an old book called Future Shock. Is anyone old enough that they remember that? This is from the 70s. You do, cool. And what it said is, as technology goes up, our need for human connection goes up. So what we want to do is learn the tools to help us and maximize that humanized and personalized touch that gives us a competitive advantage today. To add on to what Martin said, with the rise of technology, it's going to lead to the rise of human connection. At the same time, large part of your job, I'm sure, is human connection. Would anybody disagree there? <laughs> so the thing is, what usually holds you up from that human connection? Paperwork, tasks? Nobody does paperwork in here, do they? <laughs> yeah. You got to do a report. You got to do billing. You got to do things like that. On the other side of this, these are tools that if you use, it will free time up to where you can focus more on what you have to do involving the sales, the negotiation, whatever you have there. And this takes care, once you really learn it and start to master it, of some of those tedious tasks that really tie you down and take up your time. But it's also learning how to do them safely. That's right, and also and to not step on copyright violations yeah. or anything else. So the entire course is gonna be that. The right. first class is an overview, but you still ask questions. The second, we're gonna dive deep into doing more of it. And then ha the rest half is working with you to give us examples of what you have to do. And then we're going to do a live demonstration like we do when we do one-on-one -on -one consulting with people to pick out the right tool and let you see it happen live in front of the screen. Does that sound useful?